Welcome back to Improvision Entertainment. My name is Hunter Munn, and this is more of Ixian. We are at the beginning of Chapter 4. Uh, you have missed a few minutes because my microphone was kind of way away, like four or five feet away from me, and I didn't realize. That's how professional I am in wanting to play this game, and uh, I gotta set a... It's... I just want to have a corner where I stream games from and that I can stream games from instead of using my current setup and requires me to move things into and out of my space because I use it for the same personal and eh, you don't need to know. But behind the scenes stuff, basically, I have to move a lot of things into place and there's always that feeling of I forgot something, but what is it? And this time it was the microphone, but luckily I caught it 13 minutes into stream. Okay, but you haven't missed any plot. Uh, I have sent out a science ship to the star and a... Uh, and they have turned around and gone to the Paranansky. So, uh, summary of intelligence of the Paranansky. They've been located. Initial visuals indicate that it has suffered heavy damage. Our sensors are not detecting any activity on board the ship. And then from the Melon's crew, the science ship, we have entered the Paranansky. There is neither light source nor gravity within the ship. Many modifications have been made to its structure. The walls are of unknown shiny black metal that distorts the vision. The corridors we pass through are sometimes similar in design to those of Dolos or the UN. In some places, however, the passageways are almost organic in shape. We did, dis uh, did discover a large memorial. The statue at its center is obscured by the many cables, pipes, and conduits that lead away from the ship. We could make out the words, Property of BMS at its base. The team was not so anxious we would have stopped to carry out further observation. Locate the Remus coordinates. Okay, so to recap something I was out, I already said for those on stream, but that I will repeat for people watching on YouTube. Um, basically, uh, I admit that I fully understand that I've made the game too easy, and I'm I feel guilty about that. But there's not really anything I can necessarily do to fix it now because I've been playing for so long that the repercussions of long game. Ending in Dead Earth Sickness is just far too much. Um, but basically, I didn't need to increase the resources. That much is clear because I, I, my, my ship is massive at this point. I mean, look at the stockpiles at the top of the screen, right? Like this, this crazy is, this crazy is crazy. Um, I even came away with a little hydrogen just so I'd have some. Um, and it's one of those things when you play in a video game and you you feel pretty confident about it but its default difficulty is a little too just a little too hard for you right it's just it's either not fun or it's mean-spirited and you just want it to lower its difficulty a little bit i have this problem in roguelikes like uh returnal and rogue legacy each game i feel is probably fine for a lot of people but just tiny bit too difficult for me but in the case of say an NBA jam or something like that knocking it down to easy difficulty makes the game way too easy and I think that's what I did with Ixian is that I made it way too easy Maxwell check out this planet we're around like I should have already a science ship has arrived at its destination let's see here have I sciced the okay Oh, probe. Let's actually... Oh, I don't actually need to pause this, I think. Oh, I do. There's a high in here somewhere. Let's check out... Okay, we are currently sciencing the ability to turn waste into water. A science ship team has completed a task. Which would be pretty useful to have. Science ship team... Kurenansky. We have found them. The devices holding the Remus coordinates are behind a heavy reinforced door. We have tried several different approaches to open it, but haven't even succeeded in scratching it. Connecting the Tycoon and the Eden uh, to the Piransky would allow us to power the reactive uh, and reactivate the door's control systems. The connection is also necessary for extraction and transfer of the Remus coordinates. 
from the uh, devices of the tycoon. Administrator, one other thing. Shortly we finally found the devices, we passed an effig effigy of Giovanni Bat Battista, the former member of the Marduk Council. Tycoon needs to be present for... So we're... So... So we need to do the Naomi, Naomi Protocol. Alright. Um... What do we got over here? Several readings from the 12H fall outside the parameters of theoretical models. Transmission from Maxwell's team. We have landed on 12H, a planet with intense geological activity. Fissures exp expel gas into the atmosphere, and canyons run deep across the planet's surface. We located a stable area with which to study 12H's phenomenon. Uh, okay, we're just going to skip ahead to advanced infrastructure because we definitely have the resources to do it. Who's closest? Alright. I suspect if I move to the Piransky that we're gonna... Something's gonna plot off. So, I'm gonna try looking around for other planets if I can get more probes. Okay, we are currently researching this. Okay, it's faster. Okay, that science is collected. Oh wait, we're currently investigating an event. A probe has completed its scan. Okay, found another planet. We want to find, uh, we want to find planetary spots, right? Because if we find planetary spots, we can, we can know we can hop, skip, and jump around the system if we need to avoid storms. Vector 4 has a fire. Didn't I build a fire station? Oh, it's not powered. If I turn this on, will you go... Overworked, you will not. We're looking for even more workers in this sector. I guess sector four of our. Sector 5? I guess Sector 5 will be power. Just to be clear, cargo ships, you're cargoing? Alright. Only one ship is on that cargo. Only one ship is on that cargo. So, no, you are not cargoing. Actually, we might need... We might need that. We've almost got the... New building in, in created. How much food are we creating? Oh! Barely enough. Actually, so I need to start making more farms. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, if I want... Well, actually, I need to turn farms back on, actually. Overworked? Warning. A sector is being overworked. 
accident has occurred in the typhoon. Okay, so I'm gonna need to move some people. All right, We've got ten workers there. We don't have wait. We don't have enough workers in sector one. Uh, so ten workers. Workers only from sector six to sector four. Start migration. You guys are currently on extra hours. Wait, wrong one. Anything I can turn off? Yeah, I can turn off a uh, alloy factory. Let's turn off the furthest away one. Get you guys to optimal. Hey, can can you move or are you stuck? Currently investigating events. So you're stuck until I can get over there. A probe has completed its scan. A science ship team has completed a task. We've completed our theoretical model of 12H. During our studies, Quing Wang showed signs of mental distress. Concerned that the gas explosions were the cause, we carried out a standard suit integrity test. No breaches were found within their suit. Later, while we were submitting requests, uh, Quing Wang was seen leaving the research site. Locate them. Okay, we're going to actually move over as soon as this science is done. Population transfer complete. Okay. Now if I turn it on, will it be okay? Yes. Ten people made the difference there. And all the additional pod people. Is there a science for using more waste? Well, food production speed increase. All right. Remember, you want to diversify your, your output. A science ship team has completed a task. You find them? Worse with the actual team have become inconsistent, in indicating that psychological instability. According to the most recent transmissions, the team is following the Qui-Gon towards the house. The house in blue text the house? Naomi Protocol enter the house. The team will enter the house. Well, that actually sounds a little bit like Returnal, actually. Okay. What was I doing? Why is there no sound? Sometimes the sound is really, like, loud and overbearing, and other times it's like, I will just stop. <laughs> A probe has completed its scan.
Hmm. You know, I'm going to take the risk. And I'm going to make another science ship. The Xanadu. The Xanadu 2. Oh, I, I also need to make sure that cargo isn't getting stacked up. It is. We have too much iron coming in, which is definitely a good thing happening. But still, that means that we need to bump down the... Factories. Water treatment. Five, 50 ways per cycle to fulfill all water needs in a sector. And then ice would just be backup? I guess ice would just be backup then. Five by seven. Wait, five by seven? Not as big as I thought it would be. 100 power? I'm glad I had that wiggle room. Oh, speaking of power. While we are currently healed. Did Our we build all the solar panels? Scale. I think we have one left. Nope, we built all the solar panels. Alright, so the only way we're getting more power is by wiggling power around, which is not great. Ship team has completed a task. Tom's contact with the Maxwell team has been lost. For a short time, we were receiving mission reports. The house is much bigger on the inside than it is on the outside. Or, I guess, interstellar is also possible, not just returnal. Has no in interior light source and contains a series of mazes. The last report, report speaks of thumping sounds being heard. Shortly after uh, this was received, the crew's signals were turned off one after the other. Repatriate the Maxwell. Wait. While repatriation of the Maxwell was being initiated, Quinn Wang contacted the Tycoon via ship's comms. They have returned and are in possession of a strange, translucent, and gelatinous sample. After rapid analysis, it is composed of unknown particles held together by Fox Tycheons. Fox Tycheons. By Queen Wang appears to be extremely disoriented and requires medical assistance and psychological support. They are returned to the Tycoon aboard the Maxwell. I'm glad I have some science ships for 169 science. Nice. Um. Okay. Oh, I see. So actually what I need is... Since we're topped off on things... Let's just make everything a priority. That way it'll just do whatever's nearest. Maxwell has returned. Maxwell's gone off to collect science with a new science team. I hadn't considered having to replace the train 150 colonists. Oh, I left auto train on. Cause I figured that we'd need it for like the end of the game and I wouldn't I wouldn't want to get in an, another one of those unthaw two thousand people situations. Hold on. Proby.
All right, hold on. There's an object or a planet here somewhere. I think it's one rung over. It's this planet. I did tell myself to make a third science ship, right? Did I do that? Yes, Xanadu is almost complete. I guess we can always disassemble science ship. It's not like it kills people or costs resources. Found another planet. All right, guys. Uh, I believe our power is roughly, let's call it 4.75 in every sector. Yeah, we're good. So we are now going to move the tycoon so we can finish this plot event. It'll also get us a little further away from the storm if the storm begins to encroach. A science ship has arrived at its destination. Okay, I'll check on that in a second. We need a science to be sciencing. Um, I think I can make probes free. Wait, what's the final upgrade of crew quarters? Cryonic center upgrade required. Oh, cryonic center upgrade. What a great idea. Wait, colonization training center? What's this do? Reduces time training. Um, what's the housing? Capacity by 60%. Okay. Um, you make a good case. You make a good case. What about the water treatment? That requires Upgrades from other buildings, specifically the steel mill. Okay. Uh, cryonic center, cryonic center. I think, I thought that was on the left, but maybe it's on the right. If you see it in the chat, point it out. Um, oh, this has got to be made. Center. Production speed by 33%. Science team has gotten to its destination. Options unlocked by exoskeletons. Neat. Uh, summary of PSR B1257 plus 12D scan information. First readings on 12D indicate that the planet experiences intense geothermal activity and extremely high temperatures. Its surface is largely covered with molten ballistic rock. B basaltic. Basaltic, not ballistic. Transmission from the Xanadu's team. We have located a prom promontory where we could land the Xanadu. Conditions on the planet are extremely dangerous. Scorching temperatures, unusual gravity. We recommend only a quick surface analysis as, as opposed to any further exploration that could lead to human um, and material loss. You propose a quick analysis. Well, I'm going to take the advisor of the science team on this one. 
I might get more options in a moment, but we'll see what happens. We are currently moving. Construction ship needs to be handled. A science ship team has completed a task. We have completed surface analysis of 12G. Observing the geothermal activity impacts on the planet has allowed us to refine a number of planetary ecosystem models. Leave the planet. But not after you not before you get that sweet, sweet science. They told me if they stayed for anything more than quick, it would be fucking deadly. So I was like, all right, even though you got exoskeletons, we'll do it quick. I try, I, the hints are in the text descriptions and some of them I haven't been listening to. Like, Naomi Protocol, why would you tell people to take off their uh, helmets? That doesn't make any sense. Technology controlled thermal shock has been unlocked. We got another one over here. Production speed increased 66%. I think it wouldn't be terrible to get a mining ship speed upgrade. Ooh, more from a deposit. Warning. A sector is being overworked. Is it? Why? Wait, sector three? Wait, what? Didn't they just say overwork? No, Sector 4. Well, turn off the ice thing. Let's not have the uh, can of soda on the very edge of the desk where the mouse keeps bumping into it. Alright. I have to set up the cryotic centers separately in each section that they exist. You're going to sector one, send workers to sector four. Also, we got An accident has a supply of computer chips room. coming in. How many, how many houses are here in six? You're over by a hundred. We can replace it, we can make it better. I'm sorry, does that say you have no place to put the food? Oh, food is on fire. All right, we'll jiggle that around. anybody who is watching later on YouTube, hey, my buttons work. This has been Ixian, presented by Improvision Entertainment. I've been Huntermon, and I will catch you in the next episode in the future. <laughs>